everybody, and welcome into Undisputed. We have a packed show for you today. I'm Jen Hale, that is Skip Bayless, and Shannon Sharp. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, Jen. Good morning. Tonight. What happened? Your man, LeBron James, oh, should have a huge game against my Clippers without Kawhi Leonard. I'm going LeBron 35, 12, and 10, despite Westbrook's seven turnovers. How about that? The man nursing the footage. Yeah. He, he is the... not. It's just quote unquote. It ain't no injured. quote unquote. You he know, you taking know... the second night off of the back to back. You know something. No wrong. more excuses. It, there's plenty of excuses. He's probable. To How about play. the Lakers aren't good? Is that an yeah. excuse? Well, that's <laughs> your problem, not mine. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I like the summary, Shannon. The NBA off last night league-wide because of Election Day. Yep. Back tonight. But, gentlemen, let's start with the NFL. Skip, Micah Parsons, your man, responding yep. to a Photoshopped image of Odell Beckham Jr. in a Cowboys jersey. Parsons, quote, tweeted the post, lobbying for OBJ to come to Dallas. And Odell then responded to Parsons. OBJ saying, quote, you tell me, you know all the fam on my daddy's side down there. I'm just trying to win wherever I go. Indeed, his dad, OBJ Sr. from the Texas area. Shannon, what percentage chance do you see? What do you give Odell of actually signing in Dallas? I'm going to say 10% chance. 10%? 10%. Skip, this is the kind of, this is the kind of courtship the kind of recruiting that you see doing free agency mm -hmm. when everybody's in the free agency. You remember Vaughn Miller and everybody said, Vaughn, come on, Vaughn, come over here. Come over here. Even Dallas was talking about Vaughn, come here. And we see a lot of this in the, uh, in the free agency process during the free agency period. Not so much in October, November, late, uh, uh, or late October, mm -hmm. late, early November. We don't normally see this going on. But if, if the reports are true, that there's going to be a bidding war. And I don't know, Skip, I don't know if you've ever been to one of them silent auctions or been to an auction, and, and I was like, oh, man, I, I want to have that. Like, okay, I'll go here. Mm. And the next thing you know, it's ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 over what you had. Like, oh, no. Nah. Well, you're the one who bids for, like, Fabergé <laughs> eggs, right? Nah, mm. I, was, I, was, I bid it one time for a painting in 2000. They had a, a painting? painting? A painting. A and Van Gogh? It, no, okay. no, it was uh, the Ravens. It was me, and Ray. <laughs> okay. uh, it was like seven or eight of us on the painting. Okay. And I was like, okay, I'll pay ten grand for it. And somebody ended up paying 30. I was like, oh, nah. And no. then you, you opted out? I opted out. Opt they looked out. back to you and you said, no. Yeah, once it got the 12 skip, yeah. that was too, was too okay. high for my blood. And so, uh, so for me, I don't see Jerry getting into a bidding war. Now, also, this is what I want to know. And, and yesterday, you was really giddy. Oh, get Odell. You mm -hmm. want Odell now. After you've been so disparaging of Odell, mm -hmm. if Odell was all of that, somebody should have just signed him and just stashed him away so can't someone steal him away. Yep. You were that guy? Yep. Now all of a sudden you won't. Hold it. Is <laughs> you, it my turn? No, not okay. your turn yet. Look, in the playoffs last year, four games, 21 passes, 288 yards, two touchdowns. In the NFC Championship game, he was nine for a buck 13. Um, and he was off to a very, very, he was off to a great start in the Super Bowl before that knee injury took two him out. Two for 52. And a tub. And a tub. 17-yard touchdown. Yes, so it, he was off to a great start. Skip, if you look at your defense, your de defense is good enough to win your championship. You look at your special teams, I believe your special team unit with Turpin in the return game and your defensive and your uh, special team unit, yep. uh, kick kick return and kick kickoff punt punt return, I believe you're good enough to win. The question is, is your offense, are you explosive enough? Because your offense thus far has been very average. Now, you, some will chalk it up says, well, that was Cooper Rush. Now that we got Dak back, Dak looked as good as we've seen him throwing the football, minus the one interception that he had there. But he looked really good. And so you believe your offense can be even more explosive the way they ran the ball with a uh, – uh, What's the little running back? Tony Potter, Potter. Yeah, Potter. The way they ran See the ball. See how quickly you forget. You disrespect <laughs> him, you can't even remember the man's well, name. Well, now, if he ain't Chubb, yeah. he ain't yeah. Derrick yeah. Henry, yeah. say quiet, we forget about well, him. he's Skip. actually beyond those guys, but we'll discuss <laughs> that at a later date. You need to stop. I'm not going to stop. So, uh, the, the thing is, Skip, yes, I do believe Odell could help you. I still believe he can make plays, and that's what you're going to need in the playoff time, in the playoff situation. You're going to need guys that can make plays, and we've seen Odell in big moments make big-time plays. I just give it a 10 percent chance because Jerry Jerry has a number that he wants to go to. He's already talking about, oh, that's the artist helmet. Oh, playing for the cowboy. He's already skip. He's already trying to say, look, this is what I got. Yeah. And plus the benefit of you being in the start, the benefit of you playing in Dallas, Texas. So I'm gonna give it a 10 percent chance. Uh, of this happening because I don't believe Jerry will get into a bidding war and uh, there are going to be other suitors. 
Uh, I don't know if Kansas City gets into the fray. Green Bay, I'm not even looking. If I'm him, I'm not looking at Green Bay. Clance here reported that he's hearing he wants to play in warm weather. Who wouldn't want to play in warm weather? Everybody wants to play in warm weather. It's warm weather, especially if you're losing. I ain't going to no skill. I, I ain't joining no team that's losing. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm not even. Not even if they offer me the most money. I'm going somewhere where I can win because there's nothing worse than being cold and losing. Skip, you know what I'm saying? You're like, I can be cold, but when it starts to rain, you're like, damn, mm -hmm. it's cold and it's raining. Yep. Well, I can be cold if I'm winning. I ain't about to be cold and losing. Mm -hmm. No, that's not happening. Okay. You finished? Yep. All right. I slept on it, and I am giddier than ever about Odell coming to Dallas. I am 90% sure this is going to happen. You're 10%, which is my, might as well be 0% to me, because <laughs> yeah. I think you're saying, well, I'll barely hedge my bets. I'll cover my you-know-what with a little tin out there. But, but I basically think you're saying there's no way. But if, if the reports are true, a bidding war, do you see Jerry? You say Jerry don't get in the bidding war. You say he don't spend no money. Now you're like, oh, yeah, Jerry, go ahead and do it. You already nailed it. Jerry has a lot to offer that isn't just cold, hard cash. I'm going to say it again. Odell Beckham Jr. was born to play for the Cowboys in Dallas, Texas. In the end, you know what I know. Dallas is the palace. It, it is the Hollywood of the National. National Football League. It is the Mecca. It, it is the centerpiece. It, it is the sun. It, it, it all revolves around the Dallas Cowboys. They are the valuable team in the world of any sports team. They, they are the most watched team by far. It ain't even close. The top five games every year belong to Dallas Cowboys. When they play, people watch. They love them. They hate them. They watch them. Right. And their owner is simply the craziest, kookiest, most interesting owner in the history of sports. Biggest showman ever. Right? He's the biggest. He is the ultimate PT Jerry <laughs> Jones Barnum. It, it all adds to what is Odell? He, he is buzz bonafide. He, it, OBJ is TMZ to me. That's just who he is. Not in a, in a bad way. I'm just right. saying in a good way. He just he he's electric. He dominates. He owns social right. media, and Dallas owns the social media of, of the NFL because okay. there are more tweets and posts about Dallas than any other team because of the love and hate factor. They are still America's team. And people ask me, how are they America's team? Because they haven't won in forever. It's been, what is it now? 27 years yeah. since they even got reached an NFC championship right. yet. 27 years and they're America's team. They just are. It's something about yeah. that star on the side of the helmet. You mentioned social media. I saw a social media post yesterday and Damon Lillard had to be like 15 and he got a cowboy hat on. There I mean, how you got a cowboy hat on you in the Bay. He's in the Bay. He's in Oakland. <laughs> right? I mean, you bypass the Raiders, you go bypass uh, the 49ers, and you you way, way. Every time I run into <laughs> kids and I say, how did you become a Cowboy fan if I'm in New York or wherever? It's the uniforms. Yeah. It's just the uniforms. that People love to wear the colors, the metallic blue, the star. You know and I know that Odell played New York and he played in L.A. Yeah. Now he's destined to play in the Hollywood that is Dallas. He, he needs to, Jerry's right about this, and Jerry's the ultimate negotiator, and he's negotiating when he say he could look pretty good with that star on the side of his helmet. Right. No, he'd look perfect, like meant to be. But Jerry is negotiating because he's saying that's part of what we're, we're, we're offering offer, here is we're offering you the star. And Jerry did go so far as to, to point out on his radio show, we know that we should be aware that he's coming off an injury. Again, negotiating. Yeah because Odell just turned 30 years of age on November 5th. So it was, what, four, a couple of days ago. four days, whatever mm -hmm. it was ago. He's played eight seasons, but he's had a bunch of surgeries. He's had three bad surgeries. They don't concern you? Because I'm sure you're... they do. Okay. They concern me. And, and he's had two ACL surgeries on the same knee, although he's selling this one as it's actually correcting a bad surgery that he had the first time in this ACL. Right. That is possibly the case. Okay. As you well know about ACLs, if, if the surgeon is good, if he nails it, it can become, if you rehab it correctly, it can become stronger than it ever was, mm -hmm. right? It's yes. like Tommy John surgery yep. for the pitchers. You, you watch Verlander come back from Tommy John, and he looks better than ever, yes. okay? It's because the ligament got strengthened as opposed to weakened by a second surgery right. or third surgery or whatever mm -hmm. it is. So 
I, I can't tell you that. I don't know. You don't know. No. I, but I, I watched the video of him working, running on the treadmill, lifting, pushing. He, it looks sensational. But the thing is, Skip, with, with a wide receiver and doing it with ACLs, we don't worry about running. Yeah, we know in line, but what, what do the wide receivers do? Uh, Stop, plant,